Today in the world, we face a lot of crime from terrorism to unexpected gunshots firing just about anywhere to people are being murdered, to robbery. There's no end of crime in the world today. And a lot of people are fearful. But I want to say to you that God's people, if you love God, you should never, ever be fearful. Why? Because God is able to take care of you. Now, there's a YouTube where I talk about God has angelic protection for you. But today I want to talk to you about the armor of God. You know, long ago when people went to battle, they'll put on an armor made of steel, a helmet made of steel, and the chest will be covered with a steel armor that if something hit them, they will be protected. So that armor that they wore is a protection. I've been to museums and I've seen all kinds of armor that soldiers wore in past days. But you know, there's something called the armor of God that you can put on. And there's a prayer that you can say every day to put on this armor. If you read your Bible, it's found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. And I'm going to read some of it for you. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong, be confident. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, a lot of the crime and evil is because of demonic and satanic power that come upon people. And that's why they're they do evil and wicked things. God's people don't do evil and wicked things, only satanic people and people who are possessed and people who are evil. So we, we have to stand against these powers. And here's the armor of God. It says, therefore take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Therefore stand having your loins girded about with truth and having the blessed breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace Above all, taking the shield of faith where, it, where, where you are able to stand against the darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So, here is the armor. You put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, loins good about with truth, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And every day you say, in your prayer, I put on the whole armor of God. That's the shortcut way. Every day, I put on the whole armor of God. But if you know it like me, then you say, I put on the whole armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, loins good about with truth, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, and you are protected. Every day, put on the armor of God. God will protect you from all harm and danger. This I promise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.